Good evening, mortals. Welcome back to Shea Bear Paranormal. Tonight's tale is about ghosts. It's about scariness. And it's about mystery. I dub this story The Muddy Footprints. So, tonight, our tale begins in the woods, by a river. A woman who loves to go solo camping decided to go out one evening to get things off her mind, get some fresh air, to do an overnight solo camp out. She goes to her favorite spot in the woods. You have to park, and then you have to hike them about a mile back into the woods to her campsite. She gets to the parking lot. There's not a single car in the parking lot. There is one pickup truck and it's a ranger. So she thought maybe the campground was closed. So she went and asked the ranger. She said, is the campgrounds open? And he said, yes, ma'am, they're open. And she inquired why there was no other vehicles there but him. And he said, well, ma'am, due to the legend, every year on this night, no one comes here to spend the night. And if they do, no one's ever lasted all night. They end up leaving early in the morning or late, late at night. So she proceeds to ask him, what is this legend that you speak of? And he said back in 1972, there was a woman and her child. They went to the camp area. It's on the banks of a river. It was late at night and the woman had to go to the bathroom. So she gets up, she crawls out of the tent, she goes to the bathroom, but she kind of loses her way and she falls into the muddy river. The child followed looking for her mother. The child too made it to the river, but did not return. So the woman says, that's an interesting legend, but I will be spending the whole night. And he said, suit yourself, ma'am. Be careful of the river. So she hikes back in to the campsite. She finds a nice place to set up her little tent. She gets camp set up. She's making supper. She finishes her supper and she decides to read a book. She gets in her tent. She starts reading the book and she hears what she believes to be footsteps outside of her tent. It starts to rain a little, but that doesn't concern her. Her tent has never leaked. So she keeps reading. And the more she reads, the more she hears these footsteps around her tent. She don't know what's going on. And all at once, she starts hearing a child's voice calling for her mommy. That didn't really bother her that much. She thought the wind. She thought maybe the trees. She didn't think anything of it. It's getting later now. She decides to put her book away and turn her light out. Go to sleep. Ooh. As she went to sleep, she started having weird dreams, or so she thought. She kept hearing the footsteps, this time much closer and much closer. It sounded like bare feet in the mud. When 
she looks out, she gets brave enough to unzip her tent, and she looks out, and that is what she sees. She's in fear. She's petrified. She no longer can sleep, but she doesn't want to make the mild trek back out to her vehicle to the parking lot. She's scared to death. Fear has overcome her body. She's trembling, yet she can't move. It's like that all night. It was a very long night for the young lady. Finally, when morning comes, it's daybreak. She hears nothing but birds chirping in the trees. She musters up the courage to step outside. And she steps outside. There's nothing around. She does, however, see some little faint footprints, but she can't be too sure if they're hers or something else. So she grabs her dishes from the night before, and she heads down to the river. She gets down to the river to wash up her dishes, and she sees two sets of muddy footprints. One a bigger set, and one child size going right in to the river. She runs back to grab her camera to take pictures. She grabs her camera and comes back. She knows no one's going to believe this. And she takes the pictures. And as she's taking the pictures, she realizes the footprints have disappeared. They're no longer there. When she gets back home and develops the film, there were no footprints on that film. So, did she imagine all of it? Or is the legend of the muddy footprints real? You decide. Just remember one thing, guys and ghouls. When you're out, peeping around, around Halloween, and you're lurking about the shadows. Remember, you may not be the only one lurking. Ha 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 